Hello everybody, we are in week 6 of this particular course. In today's class, we shall look at magnitude comparator and uh, before that, we shall have a quick review of what we discussed in week 5. If you remember, we discussed number system and the uh, representation of numbers in binary and the code that we arrived at were weighted codes in the sense that every place has got certain weight associated with it. When it is uh, binary, before the uh, binary point, we had weights like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, so on and so forth. And after the binary point, it was half 1 upon 4, 1 upon 8, 1 upon 16, so on and so forth. Okay. And to convert uh, decimal to binary, the integer part was successively uh, divided by 2 and remainders were accumulated and for the fractional part, uh, part coming after the binary uh, decimal point, it was uh, successfully multiplied by 2 and the carry was accumulated. And we had seen that fixed point arithmetic uh, has fixed precision uh, and uh, it follows integer arithmetic. And for negative number representation, uh, sign magnitude was discussed and also 2's complement, 1's complement, all those things were there. And then uh, we discussed 2's complement arithmetic. And then uh, to design uh, uh, circuits uh, for adder, uh, addition and subtraction, we saw ripple curry addition and how we can convert a ripple curry adder to a subtractor. Okay. And then we discussed uh, carry look ahead adder for first uh, addition where the carry generation process was uh, converted to parallel uh, from serial by unlooping the iterative equation. And then we discussed uh, overflow detection, how to detect overflow if the number goes out of the range. And then we also discussed BCD addition and uh, the logic behind it, how to arrive at those logics. So, as I said, in today's class, we shall discuss magnitude comparison. So, uh, magnitude to be compared is uh, between two numbers and uh, the numbers, uh, uh, I mean whenever we talk about uh, comparison, then the first thing that occurs to our mind, why do not we uh, subtract uh, one number from the other, say one number is x, another number is say y. So, if x minus y is 0, then it is equal, uh, the numbers are equal. And if x minus y is positive, the number is uh, x is greater than y. If x minus y is uh, negative, then the number is uh, x is less than y. Okay. This is uh, the uh, thing that can that will occur to us. And of course, we can get a uh, magnitude comparison uh, done by subtraction process. Okay. So, that we can do. And uh, for that, we can have a uh, subtractor uh, circuit developed from uh, uh, 2's complement uh, uh, by using 2's complement arithmetic and a full adder circuit. So, uh, in that the way we have seen it before how the subtraction works uh, using 2's complement arithmetic. So, when x is equal to y and x greater than y, we see that carry out generated is 1. Okay. So, you have to refer back to it is complement arithmetic by which this subtraction is done. Those examples, the study that we had done in the previous class. From there, we uh, take the uh, important point that if x is equal to y and x greater than y, then carry out that is generated is equal to 1. And if carry out gener generated is 0, then the number is negative that is x less than y. I mean the sub uh, result is negative, so x is less than y. Okay? remember that? Okay. Then uh, from that we can get uh, the uh, logic for x less than y very clear quick uh, uh, easily that if the carry out is uh, 0, no carry is generated, then the result is x less than y. So, in this case we can uh, the corresponding output say x less than y, we can directly you know get from c out prime complement of the carry out. Okay. And when carry is generated, then there are two possibilities. Uh, one is x is equal to y, another is x greater than y. Right? So, x is equal to y will occur when all these sum bits are 0. Right? 
So, at that time we can follow this particular logic that all the each of the sum bits are 0, no digit is 1. So, that means that the numbers are equal, result is 0 and carry it carry out generated is 1. Okay? That is following two's complement subtraction. And uh, if any of the sum bit is 1, any of the sum bit is 1, so that is that follows all logic by which we can end it with uh, C out, okay, the carry is al uh, already generated. So, that gives you x greater than y logic. Okay. So, this is the basic uh, idea and of course, when you are generating multiple output function, we can see that whether output of one can be used, I mean some intermediate output can be used in two places, two different places. So, accordingly uh, certain minimization you can think of, otherwise the basic logic remains this what we have arrived at. Okay. So, uh, but when we look at uh, magnitude comparison and our objective is to generate only x greater than y, x is equal to y and x less than y, we do not actually need the, the uh, subtraction result that is S3, S2, S1, S0. Okay. So, we are doing more than what is expected from us in terms of magnitude comparison of two numbers, is not it? So, can we have a you know uh, can we use less hardware you know uh, another kind of you know circuit by which we generate only the uh, result that compares two numbers. Okay. So, we will go for 4 bit com number comparison, comparison the way we had seen before or larger number of bits. So, we begin with uh, 1 bit magnitude comparison. So, two numbers are of 1 bit. Okay. So, if x and y are of 1 bit. So, the number possible the you know the possible combinations the way we can compare them when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So, these are the four possibilities by which you can uh, do the comparison. And in this case you can see that uh, 0, 0, x and y both are 0 that means x is equal to y. So, this will be 1 neither x greater than y nor x less than y. So, they are 0 and 0 clear. So, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 of course, y is more and x is less. So, x is less than y that is equal to 1 and rest 2 are 0 x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So, x greater than a y is 1 and when both of them are 1 again they are equal. So, other two are 0, is it fine? So, by this we can figure out that x greater than y is occurring for this combination. So, we can get it by x y prime. So, g we are giving g for greater than x greater than y okay. uh, and then x less than y right that is occurring for this particular this particular case sorry this particular case. So, that is x prime y x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 clear and uh, finally, x is equal to y is occurring for these two cases the other two cases that is this one and this one. So, this is x and y both 0. So, that is x prime y prime and x and y both 1. So, x y. So, you end them up uh, sum them up you get uh, the final expression. So, these are the you know the basic logic by which you can get one bit comparison done. Okay. You do not need to do uh, other things. Okay. Now, uh, since we are generating x y prime and x prime y right, do we need to additionally generate x prime y prime x y. So, that means, two other and, and gets and then order it up okay. or we can make use of this and see whether you know another uh, you know gate not uh, more than one gate is required to get the final x is equal to y output generated. Okay. So, that we can investigate. So, for that we can see that x prime y prime uh, or do it x y we can write this as x prime or y and they do x or y prime. You can see that x prime 
and x it will become 0. So, x prime y prime will come from this particular term first uh, this thing and y x will be there from this two and y y prime will be 0. Okay. So, once it is there then this particular term x prime y prime from de Morgan's theorem we can write in this manner and this one also in this manner and finally, so we have got our x y prime and x prime y okay. and then again we apply on this particular term de Morgan's theorem. So, you can get a nod relationship. So, a nod of this two, this two term which is already generated or need to be generated we get x is equal to y logic. Okay. We do not need to generate separately this two. Okay. And the other thing that we can uh, see that we can generate this x y prime and x prime y by not get and then ending which is possible. Okay. If uh, already in some cases you are generating x uh, you know inverse, uh, inverse uh, of x x complement somewhere or y complement you can make use of it or we can generate it. But otherwise also we can see that if we have a uh, NAND gate between x and y we are getting x y uh, NAND which is nothing but x prime plus y prime. Okay. So, when you and x with that so x x prime will become 0. So, x y prime will be generated here and if you and y with that right with this one. So, x prime will be generated and y and y prime will become 0. So, we can get generated this one. Okay. You do not need then one and you know additional those two not gets rather one and get will do. So, by this we can get this made clear. So, that is for one bit comparison. Now, let us look at uh, how to do two bit comparison right. So, uh, for two bit comparison then the number we are having is x 1 x naught and y 1 y naught. So, x 1 is the more significant bit and x naught is the less significant bit accordingly it is uh, for y. Okay. Now, we know that x as a whole the number will be greater than y if x 1 is greater than y 1 is not it more significant bit. So, if x 1 is more than y 1 what is the option then that means x 1 is 1 and y 1 is 0. Then irrespective of the rest of the bits 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 all the time right you are having x greater than y for all these cases. So, this is your x 1 and this is your x naught and y naught okay. and this is your y 1 and this is your y naught right because more significant bit is uh, larger than this. Okay. So, in this case you do not need to worry about uh, the um, other uh, things. Okay. So, when x 1 is equal to y 1 that both of them are 0 or both of them are 1 then whether x is greater than y or not is decided by the uh, you know x naught y naught comparison. Right? So, this is at that time only you look at it. So, this is we know between uh, you know comparison of two numbers. So, basically we are looking whether x 1 is greater than y 1 and also we are looking at x naught is greater than y naught uh, when x 1 is equal to y 1. Now, if we remember the way we had compared one bit generation. So, x 1 greater than y 1 we can get if we do one bit comparison of x 1 and y 1 whether x 1 is equal to y 1 we can get by one bit comparison of again x 1 and y 1 where the equality part is looked at x is equal to y output is looked at and x naught y naught will come from one bit comparison of the lower significant bit x naught and y naught. So, what we do we generate two one bit comparator we use two one bit comparator right. So, one is to generate g naught e naught l naught by the same equation that we had done before and another is for g 1 e 1 and l 1. Okay. And uh, so, we write so basically this is the generic one bit uh, comparison uh, you know circuit. So, instead of x, uh, x and y we are writing x i y i to in indicate the bit position. So, 0th position uh, you know position 1 and position 2 or so. Okay. Is it clear? 
So, this is the way circuit is made. Now, if uh, if we look at this x greater than y thing, so x 1 greater than y 1 is your g 1, it, it will be given by g 1, right. So, if g 1 is high, g 1 is true, then x will be greater than y irrespective of the other things, right. When g 1 is not high, right, then two possibilities are there that uh, the number is equal or number x x 1 is less. So, if the number is equal u 1, then you look at whether the lower significant bit g naught is high I mean or not, lower significant of x is more than y or not. Okay. So, this way you get the logic for x greater than y. So, similar thing we will get for x less than y, where we will look at L 1, if x the higher significant bit is lower of course, it will be less and if they are equal then we will look at the next significant bit, lower significant bit whether it is less, then it will be as a whole the number will be less and when it will be equal, when both u 1 and u naught are equal, then only it will be equal, is it okay? So, two 1 bit comparator and additional logic circuit will give me 2 bit uh, comparison. Okay. Now, if we extend it, we can get n bit comparison which includes 4 bit comparison the way we have seen uh, subtraction and all uh, of 2 4 bit numbers before. Okay. Uh, so, in this case uh, x greater than y And the numbers are x naught to x n minus 1 and y naught to y n minus 1 and we are looking at as a whole x greater than y or equal to y or less than y or not. Okay. So, we will be having uh, n number of 1 bit general uh, you know uh, comparison circuit the way we have uh, seen before right and then we look at the most significant bit first g n minus 1 if this is high then of course, x greater than y. Right. If it is not high, low, then if the uh, most significant bit is equal, if it is less than uh, the most significant bit of x is less than, then you do not uh, you know need to go to next step. If they are equal, okay, then you look at the next significant bit. If the next significant bit is also equal, that is e n minus 1 ended with e n minus 2. So, that tells that both the uh, uh, most significant bit and next most significant bit they are equal. Then you look at the uh, next uh, significant bit, okay, whether that is uh, more than uh, the other or not. Basically, we are talking about in this case say 0, 0, this is also 0, 0, this is x and this is y, right. So, both are equal. Then you are looking at whether x, uh, this particular position is more than this or not. Okay. Or the other case that when uh, both are 1, right? then whether this is 1 or not. So, this is where you are, when you are discussing, uh, we are looking at this case. So, if they are again equal, if you see that they are equal, so it could be 0, 0, could be 1, 1, then you look at the next case, whether this is 1 or this is 0. So, this is the way the equation uh, can be understood. right? x is equal to y will come in this manner and x less than we y will look at the uh, where that where uh, this l n minus 1 e n minus 1 l minus 2. So, this is the similar to the other case okay, greater than case is it. Okay? Now, when you develop the n bit circuit maybe a 4 bit comparator which we shall see uh, later. So, it might so require that you are looking for 8 bit comparison, okay. but you have got a, a you know 4 bit comparator IC or 4 bit comparator circuit available with you. So, you would like to cascade it, you would like to connect uh, to another uh, IC, is not it. So, that is what your intention will be. So, in that case uh, you need to have option for connecting inputs. Okay. So, in this case uh, when you do that we do it uh, this way that the input is coming from lower significant bits. So, current uh, IC is current uh, uh, circuit is uh, 
comparing the more significant bits. So, what we will do? So, everything is remaining same when all current one are equal, more significant bits are equal, then you look at whether x, x is greater than y that is coming from the lower stage, lower significant uh, you know bits. So, x greater than y in or not. Okay. And if all are equal, if x is equal to y in is equal, then the as a whole it will be equal. right? And similarly for the less than cases. So, now we are putting a out and in prefix in these cases because we are now in a position to accept output of comparison from lower significant bits from another logic circuit. Okay. Now, we come to a 4 bit uh, comparator IC which is used in uh, practice right? and uh, so this is IC 7401, IC 7485 and you can see what is there, this is a 4 bit comparator IC. Okay. So, these are the uh, x 4 bits and these are the y 4 bits, these are the inputs that I said uh, can come from lower significant bits uh, where you know the lower significant bits are getting compared in another IC or another circuit and these are the output of this stage okay, which also considers the input. right? And if you look at the circuit these are all these blocks are 1 bit comparator you can see over here. right? And uh, we have used uh, you know these bubbles uh, you know, not option. So, we can just compare and see for example, uh, this particular end output, this particular end output is 1 when uh, a 3 is equal to 0 and b 3 is equal to 1. How is it that? You can see that if a 3 is equal to 0, this output will be 1 right? and b 3 is equal to 0, right? b 3 is equal to 0, then this is uh, uh, b 3 is equal to 1, then this 1 is also coming. So, both of them are 1. So, this end gate output will be 1. So, this 1, this is 0. So, this output will be 1. Okay. Uh, sorry, this output will be 0 because this is and get and at the input of it 1 it is inverse. So, that is 0 is there. Okay. So, if b 3 is more than a 3 then this cannot be 1. Similarly, if you look at this particular and get. Okay. So, if it if a 3 is equal to b 3 if you look at the connection a 2 is equal to 0 b 2 is equal to 1 then this output will be 1. So, that also ensures that in that case in that case the output will be 0. So, this is the way the circuit has been developed. right? And if you look at the function table of IC 7485, okay, as we had discussed it is similar if a 3 is greater than b 3, right? irrespective of what are the other uh, you know uh, inputs as well as the cascaded inputs the output will be a greater than b. Okay. And if a 3 is less than b 3, then it will be less than b 3. Right. And when a 3 is equal to b 3, at that time you look at whether a 2 is greater than b 2 or not. If a 2 is greater than b 2, irrespective of the other cases, a greater than b. Okay. So, this is follows what the uh, you know what basic uh, comparator logic uh, should follow. Okay. Now, comes uh, you know when all of them are equal all these current bits. So, this is the case a 3 b a 2 a 1 a naught are equal to b 3 b 2 b 1 b naught. So, at that time if a greater than b right then at the input then a greater than b at the output. So, it is now looking at the lower significant gates bits okay? comparison of that. Similarly, others and when a 3 is equal to b 3 then this is uh, if this is high then uh, this will be equal to b. Now, it is not expected that at the input side okay, both x greater than y and uh, x less than y both will be equal to 1 because either it is high or it is less. Okay. So, that is what is uh, expected, right? but in case it happens for some you know reason the circuit is made in such a manner even though it is not expected that if both of them are high, then the output in this case a greater than b. So, both of them are low. If both of them are low, then both of them are high. This is what is there, which we shall see can be used 
uh, to our benefit in uh, some configuration. Okay. So, this is not is going to happen in normal cases, but according to the logic circuit that has been developed, this is what the function table gives us. As such, this is a do not care at the input side, okay. but because this is there in the final truth table, we can see that it can be put to some uh, you know uh, useful uh, you know configuration of comparator circuit for larger number of uh, bit comparison and uh, that part we shall take up in uh, subsequent slides. Now, uh, as I said, uh, it can be used for comparing uh, more number of bits because of the option that is available as uh, input. Uh, so, if you look at 8 bit comparison, so of course, so the lower significant bits need to be placed here and here. Uh, this uh, x is equal to y input is kept high, the others are kept low, x greater than uh, y and x less than y. Clear? And uh, so, these outputs s greater than y uh, equal to y and x less than y, whatever is getting generated here in these three cases are fed as input to the next uh, IC and the final output is taken from here. Okay. Is it clear? Now, uh, if you uh, look for say 24 bit comparison, right? how will you go about? So, you will be requiring uh, you know 6 such ICs. So, the first uh, case you will be connecting it in this manner right? that is uh, the uh, input pin number 3 that is x uh, equal to y in that will be high and other 2 are will be 0. So, for the first one right? and after that you are connecting the way you have connected it. So, final output will be generated from here right? and in this case the final output generation will depend on the uh, logic operation done in previous cases. So, basically this uh, is a comparator will wait till the uh, you know uh, this previous comparator generates its output, this will wait till this one generates its output. So, that way you see the propagation delay in uh, you know cumulative in nature. Okay. This comparison result will come, but it will be the delay of each of the stage will get added up which is uh, how it is going to work, but we can have another configuration, another configuration where we are using the same you know 6 uh, comparator only for 24 bit comparison. So, there we can put we can put 5 such comparators here in the first place in one stage which will giving you which is giving comparator output after one uh, unit delay uh, that happens within the comparator and after that it is another level. So, it is a two level comparison right and you see how intelligently the connections has been made as such for 5 you can get 5 into 420 inputs, but how 24 inputs have been placed there. So, the for this is you know uh, least significant 4 uh, bits are connected the standard way. Okay. So, the a is equal to b is high and the other two are low. right? So, there goes 4, 4 inputs and we have another uh, 20 inputs to place. right? So, that is placed 5 of them are placed in rest 4 in the first stage here 5, 5, 5 and 5. How? And then these outputs okay, are put over here. So, the first one is this 2 and rest this 4 a naught b naught to a, a 3 b 3 are coming from rest 4. Okay. So, how does it work? So, in the first place this a 4 b 4 you are placing it here and a 4 if it is greater than b 4 then it is fine it is a greater than b it will go in that manner. So, the corresponding output will be generated. right? a greater than b. Otherwise, if b 4 is more than a 4, so the a less than b will be generated if other bits remaining same, if all of them are remaining same because this is of low, uh, you know, lower significance compared to other. Now, if they are equal, all these are same, they are equal that is where the problem could have been there. right? 
But if they are equal, we have seen in the previous case in the function table as I was telling there, if they are equal, you see the outputs are also equal. If both of them are high and both of them are low, output are also LL and HH in this particular case. So, both of them will be low or both of them will be high in that case. So, when they are fed as A naught B naught here, so both of them are high and both of them low. So, they do not contribute to the comparison that is equal, I mean contribute in the sense that input is you know equal. So, if everything else remains same and the output is you know depends only on F4 and B4 comparison, so as to say, okay, then if both of them are low or both of them high, we will generate same high, high and low low output here and over here same high high and low low and the output will be A is equal to B in the final place place. So, the fifth bit can be inserted in that in, 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 a, in a, here like this. So, similarly for the other cases, so 4 into 520 and this is 4. Okay. So, that is the uh, clever use of uh, uh, this thing and by which you can see the because of the parallelism the propagation delay can be reduced. Okay. So, with this uh, we come to the conclusion of the uh, particular uh, discussion on comparator. Magnitude comparison of two numbers can be done by subtracting one number from the other and developing suitable logic circuit to generate uh, this x greater than y, x is equal to y, x less than y outputs. We shall see in the next class the ALU basically arithmetic logic unit does it in that manner only. You do not have separate comparator circuit within it. A direct approach for magnitude comparison of two numbers can avoid subtraction. In this uh, place value of the bits being compared is useful. I mean if it is more significant bit uh, they differ then we can arrive at the decision from that directly. IC 7485 is a 4 bit comparator with uh, option for uh, connecting input from uh, lower significant bits uh, that are getting compared in another IC 7485 or logic circuit. And delay at every stage can add up for larger number of bit getting compared when you connect them in serial, but there can be an option of parallel multi level arrangement. Okay. Thank you.